Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody is okay this morning. On our prayer request, Bente is having trouble in life. Pray things get better. Uh, pray that uh, Loretta and her husband uh, stop coughing. Um, Jackie Howard is feeling much better. Uh, the meds are beginning to work and she feels less depressed. Pray for the families of the people killed in the tornado in Kentucky and pray for anyone affected in other states as well. Uh, Kim Westervelt's COVID test was negative. Amen. Sally is out of quarantine and went to church with Kim Sunday. Angela Gonzalez needs prayer for depression and anxiety. Becky, uh, our friend is going to Vanderbilt uh, today and Wednesday she's having an operation to replace a valve in her heart uh, pray all goes well she's she's very nervous of course uh, I always used to get real uh, a lot of anxiety before uh, operations and I'm sure she is that was you know like a major operation we'll see um, our scripture of the day comes from Nehemiah 2, 1 through 6. In the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of King Artaxerxes, when wine was brought for him, I took the wine and gave it to the king. I had not been sad in his presence before. So the king asked me, why does your face look sad when you are not ill? This can be nothing but sadness of heart. I was very much afraid, but I said to the king, May the king live forever. Why should my face not look sad when the city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been destroyed by fire? The king said to me, What is it you want? Then I prayed to God of heaven, and, and I answered the king, if it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in his sight, let, let him send me to the city of Judah, where my ancestors are buried, so that I can rebuild it. Then the king, with the queen sitting beside him, asked me, How long will your journey take, and when will you get back? It pleased the king to send me, so I set a time. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, What Should I Say? When I stopped to browse through a box of books marked C.S. Lewis at a used bookshop, the store owner appeared. As we chatted about the available titles, I wondered if he might be interested in the faith that inspired much of Lewis's writing. I prayed silently for guidance. Information from a biography came to mind, and we began to discuss how C.S. Lewis's character pointed to God. In the end, I was thankful that a quick prayer had reoriented our conversation with two spiritual matters. Nehemiah paused to pray before a pivotal moment in a conversation with King Artaxerxes in Persia. The king had asked how he could help Nehemiah, who was distraught over Jerusalem's destruction. Nehemiah was a king's servant and therefore in no position to ask for favors. But he needed one, a big one. He wanted to restore Jerusalem, so he prayed to the God of heaven before asking to leave his job so he could reestablish the city. The king consented and even agreed to help Nehemiah make travel arrangements and procure timber for the project. The Bible encourages us to pray on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. This includes moments when we need courage, self-control, or sensitivity. Praying before we speak helps us give God control of our attitude and our words. How might, he want, how might he want to direct your words today? Ask him to and find out. What patterns of speech do you need God's help to change? What types of situations in your life could benefit most from prayer? Dear God, I surrender my words to you. Use them for your glory. Help them to inspire and encourage others. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. 
I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. And I'll be seeing you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.